हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम मनाली रेशम वाला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरिकोज वेन्स फिजियोथेरापिस्ट प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन ट्रीटिंग वेरिकोज वेन्स सो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इन डिटेल वी विल सी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल डेफिनेशन एटोलॉजी प्री डिस्पोजिंग फैक्टर्स ऑफ वेरिकोज वेन्स पैथोलॉजी क्लिनिकल फीचर्स एंड कॉम्प्लिकेशंस as well as the treatment definition varicose veins are dilated and lengthened and tortuous with incompetent valves superficial varicose veins seen through the skin etiology any age of the patient can get varicose vein but common is seen between 40 to 50 years of age females are more affected than males predisposing factors one compression of pelvic vein during pregnancy so pregnancy is one of the predisposing factor and especially in the third trimester patient may get varicose vein due to weight of the fetus giving pressure on the pelvic veins so patient is advised not to line supine for longer second occupation necessitating constant standing like shop assistant or a traffic constable then tight corsets or garters hereditary may be the factor secondary to deep vein thrombosis if person person is having deep vein thrombosis there are chances of valve become incompetent and varicosities may develop last is basic weakness of vein wall if person's veins are already weakened then they have chances of getting varicose vein very easily pathology the vein wall dilates at weak areas and valve becomes incompetent usually is seen in superficial vein as normally calf muscle contract contraction occurs and the pressure in the deep veins forces the blood proximally that is towards the heart This pressure is not transmitted to superficial vein because of the valves present in perforated veins. When these valves become incompetent, that is, the valves in perforated veins or communicating veins, then uh, pressure pushes blood into superficial veins, which dilate and lengthen. Normally, due to valves in the perforated vein, blood moves from superficial to deep vein only. but if there is incompetency in perforating valves then it happens that blood from deep vein also goes back into the superficial vein and then a vicious circle develops as every time the blood goes backward in the superficial vein creating overlap in the uh, superficial vein and the blood vein veins becomes more dilated so the valves in the superficial vein also becomes incompetent and prog- disease progression may occur here we can see in the normal flow in the deep vein blood is passing towards the proximal compartment and the blood will not go in the superficial vein instead blood from superficial vein will come into the deep vein but if there is varicose vein because of incompetency of the valve it happens that blood also coming from superficial vein but at the time of muscle contraction from deep vein blood goes into the superficial vein thus leading dilated tortuous vein of the superficial during standing force of the gravity tends to keep blood into the lower parts of the body so most of the blood remains towards the downward side because of gravity and if the valves are incompetent then we are not being able to draw the blood towards the heart so it again aggravates the condition in standing because in standing lower limb muscles and lower limb is gravity dependent there is loss of elastic tissue and muscle atrophy of the media layer in tunica media there is loss of tissue uh, uh, elastic as well as muscle tissue and hypertrophy of the outer layer may occur clinical features 
superficial vein appear as tortuous knotted structures as shown in the first figure cosmetically troublesome or sometimes it may also cause pain aching and fatigue in the legs with difficulty in walking cramp in calf muscle especially at night is very common calf muscles weaken loses their pumping action and support for veins accentuating the venous changes Skin of the leg may be pigmented, indurated, and shows signs of ulceration, as shown in the figure below. There is congestion and edema of the ankles also. Complications: bleeding from the ruptured vein can occur, venous ulcer due to de devitalized skin, any kind of friction uh, can lead to ulcer very easily. SVT the superficial venous thrombosis as there is venous stasis due to varicosity there may be chances of development of very superficial venous thrombosis and last is edema particularly of the foot and ankle treatment treatment can be divided into either conservative or surgical conservative treatment will include the aim of the treatment is to improve venous return it will include first use of elastic support asking the patient to wear elastic stockings or elastic bandage whole a day especially when they are walking or standing which increases calf muscle pump action next is encourage walking but avoid standing for long periods elevation of lower limb for 10 minutes 3 times a day and slip with end of the bed raised is advised which will help venous return easy we can also inject a drug that is clerosin solution into veins followed by firm bandaging of the leg for 6 weeks it prevents thrombosis as well as it causes inflammation of the vein so that there is obliteration of the lumen and the further blood cannot be accumulated in that vein last is physiotherapy actually along with all these thing physiotherapy helps to treat varicose veins easily physiotherapy is also having role post operatively so in conservative physiotherapy we can encourage the patient to practice foot and ankle exercise in elevation we can ask the patient to lie down on the floor and can use a chair or sofa where he can put his leg and ankle toe movement is being uh done next is walking at least 1 to 2 miles per day with support of stockings which helps venous return improvement and last is the correct pattern of walking is also encouraged second treatment option is surgical the indication for surgery is severe pain an occupation involving standing for prolonged the person who cannot change the occupation or change in the position during occupation then they require surgery the aim is to remove as many dilated veins as possible and ligate the others we can remove superficial vein uh, from which are more dilated and very uh, incompetent valve physiotherapy usually post operatively advised where post operatively we may find patients legs bandage and elevated keep the knee straight during rest that should be advised as knee bending may create pressure on the popliteal vein which may prevent blood going towards the heart every hour free exercises in bed is suggested like foot and ankle pumping hip and knee flexion and extension hip abduction isometrics of quadriceps and gluteal muscles on the post operative day 1 the same exercises are being continued along with we can help the patient to get out of the bed and walking is encouraged with the use of bandages during walking patient is encouraged to move ankle and knee together with correct push off with even timing and stride length patterns next is gradually after gait training we can ask the patient to walk for long distance as well as we can ask the patient to take a one flight of stairs in front of us 
we must advise them to avoid still standing for long period after that patient is being discharged usually within 48 hours with instruction of wearing supportive stockings for several weeks continuation of exercises at home even physiotherapy treatment for venous ulcer and edema should be advised should be performed either at home or at a physiotherapy center here are the references thank you